A bit of a gloomy and wet day out there today. Nothing at all like we saw yesterday. Steve, what's in store for us tonight and the start of our work week? Yeah, yesterday we took the sponge and squeezed it out, and now we're just squeezing it out a little bit more and more. But we got most of the water out of the sponge yesterday. I think today, just some leftover sprinkles. And next couple of days, kind of the same scenario a spritz, a sprinkle, or shower possible. But a lot of the hours of the day will be rain free. But kind of deceiving because you're going to look up at the sky and it's going to have that dark grayish appearance here for the next. Few. So, a live look outside. Camden Yards here. We're going to focus on the Orioles coming back to town. Their home games start on Tuesday. And, you know, overall, I think they're in pretty good shape. You're probably wearing sweatshirts to those games uh, Tuesday and Wednesday here with temperatures in the 60s. Cloudy and cool weather here Monday and Tuesday. We'll see a passing sprinkle or shower possible here, especially in the afternoon hours on Monday. And Tuesday could come at just about any point in time, not washouts. So, Wednesday, a little bit better. Another round of rain coming in. Here it looks like on Friday, and then we'll set up for a nicer weekend. If high pressure can really get control of the steering wheel next Saturday and Sunday, should be a nice makeup for this weekend. So our coastal flood situation continues. Anne Arundel County, notice Baltimore City not in this here. This is for tonight's high tide cycle between one and two in the morning. Very similar scenario is going to play out to what you saw earlier in our newscast here, with about one to two feet of salt water above dry ground coming on in here. In addition to uh, coastal flooding. We saw a good amount of rain across the area, and that has helped chip away at some of our deficits again here. So, Baltimore now under three inches of rain below average here for the year. That's a big makeup here. You were running close to six to seven. Hagerstown still about seven and a half inches below average. Salisbury, we chipped away at you. You were nearly 10 inches below average here. You're down to about six and three quarters. So we're still dry out there nonetheless, but we did help the scenario out over the weekend. In terms of actual rain chances, this won't do anything to the drought Monday and Tuesday, just a passing sprinkle or shower. But on Friday, there are some signs that we could get some steadier rain in here. It looks like Friday during the day and maybe into early Saturday morning. Here's a look at satellite and radar, the leftovers of Ophelia moving through parts of Pennsylvania and New York. The wind's going to go back to being northeast. We kind of have a nice break in the wind right now, but that's going to go back to the northeast and be kind of a cool breeze here for the next few days. Temperatures in the 60s right now, 50s to our north overnight tonight. Temperatures right around 60 degrees for your overnight low. And for the bus stop for the kiddos here tomorrow, I'd still have a small umbrella packed in their backpack. They probably don't need it early in the morning where temperatures about 60 to 62, but in the afternoon hours, they may need it for some of those sprinkles and light showers. Here's a day planner for tomorrow. Notice mostly just cloud cover, but by three, four o'clock, maybe the first sprinkles showing up of the day, and then we could have more in the way of showers here coming in during the afternoon hours. So there you go. You can see some of those showers pivoting in during the evening hours, and those will hang into Tuesday. As you can see, we have another system in the tropics. This is Felipe. Felipe will not pose any immediate direct threat to land, but it will make that classic hook. We'll keep an eye on Bermuda, but right now doesn't look like an immediate threat to anybody. That's good news. So O's game start on Tuesday. It looks like some nice evenings for baseball here. Temperatures will be cool in the 60s here, but sunshine returns Wednesday and Thursday. Rain likely on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Better weather with temperatures into the 70s.